Today's date is February 27, 2020. The time now is approximately 17, 48 hours. This is in reference to Orange County case number 20-017904. I'm currently located at 4748 France Lane apartment. France Court. Are you sure? Uh, that's what I always park up. Yeah, because you can see it on uh, the sign over there on the 4749. France okay, Court. France Court. Yeah, uh, it's weird. For some reason, all of the signs <laughs> are on the opposites are on the wrong side. On the, of the wrong, building. yeah, the so further that's side. That's apartment eight there, and the signs right there on that one. Gotcha. Okay, um, France Court, um, apartment, the Tealwood Parks apartment. Um, when I'm speaking with, can you state your name? Uh, it's Brandon Mills. And your date of Okay. And you reside at this apartment, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And you said that you've been living here since January of 2019? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, on Sunday, which would have been... The 24th? Let's just double check. Sunday was the 23rd. 23rd. Um, were you home uh, that day? Uh, I would have come, out, uh, come home a little late that evening. I would have been here around uh, 8, 9 o'clock. I would have gotten in around 8 or 9 o'clock. PM? Yes. Okay. And um, did you, so your apartment is right next to apartment number three. Um, do you, does your apartment share walls with theirs? Uh, my bedroom shares a uh, wall with their, uh, the lower half of their apartment. The lower half, okay. Um, do you recall hearing anything coming from apartment three while you were, um, after you had gotten home? Uh, around 10.30 or 11 o'clock, there was a very loud crashing sound where, uh, I believe, I'm not sure I haven't been in their apartment like my roommate, but I believe is the location of the, uh, the staircase. Okay, so. so uh, a little bit above. A very there. loud, you said crashing sound? Yeah, like, it sounded like something had been, like, falling down the stairs. Because it started up high and then it ended uh, low. Okay. And when you heard the uh, the loud crashing sound, did you hear any voices? Like, like, could you make out if you heard a male or female's voice? I couldn't hear anything, no. Uh, okay. Is that normal for you to hear noises coming from their apartment? Uh, not loud. But not I, that loud? Not that loud. Okay. But uh, I'll regularly hear, like, thudding sounds, like uh, stuff being, like, slammed against the wall or something like that. Okay. Um, have you ever heard voices? Have you ever been able to determine? I, I've never... I've always kind of, like, tuned out if I was okay. hearing voices. I if just, you heard something, yeah. you can... Okay. But you have heard loud, loud noises in the past, but not as loud as you had heard on Sunday night. No, it never been that. Uh, like, I felt the wall shake. Okay. As the sound happened. And, um... Do you know either of them? Like, do you know... Uh, I've had a few brief interactions with them. Okay. But I don't... Like, uh, do you know I, who lives there? Like, yes. can you describe who lives there for me? Uh, it is a sort of, I guess, like... Middle I don't know, uh, like around 40s, a uh, blonde woman. Okay. And a uh, Hispanic, I, Hispanic gentleman, I believe so. Uh, I haven't interacted with him much. I've spoken to her a few times. You've spoken to her a few times, okay. Um, anyone else live there? Uh, I believe they have a little boy. <laughs> a little, a small child, okay. Um, okay. When you have seen them around, um, how do they appear to you? Uh, they almost always seem either, like, tired or, like, tweaked out. Tweaked out? Yeah. Okay. Um, the conversations you had, or, well, the interactions you've had with the female, like, what do you mean, interactions? Uh, I remember one night she slept on the back porch of my apartment for some reason. Okay. I don't remember much, but I, I just remember, like, looking out the shade and seeing her, like, laid down. Okay. Um, do you recall, like, maybe what month this was? Uh, 
I, I couldn't say it was pretty early when I moved in, I would say the summer of 2019. Summer of 2019, okay. Did you wake her, or? Uh, no, I just. Okay, and by sleeping, um, you guys all have like a cement area, right? Yes. Like a back patio, yes. but it's not enclosed. No. Um, did was she in a chair on the ground no, like or on the ground? On the ground. Okay. Um, no, I don't have any chairs on our back porch. Okay. Um, any other run-ins with her? Uh, Things you've witnessed with her? I was coming home from class one night. Uh, I would not be able to give you a time period on this. Sure, I don't yeah. remember when it is. Um, and I was waiting on my roommate to get home because I had uh, left my keys in the apartment. Mm -hmm. And I remember I she came over and was talking to me for a minute. And it was very visible that like she was talking to me because she didn't want to be in her apartment. Okay. I don't know why, like, I didn't ask, but okay. uh, it was just very evident that she didn't want to be there. Do you remember anything she was saying? Uh, no. Her it was, demeanor? It was, she seemed, like, skittish, like, nervous. Okay. Um, I don't remember anything we talked about because, in complete honesty, when I was, I was just, it was in one ear and out the other. Right, I yeah, you were just kind of, right. with vague nothing. Okay. Did she appear to be on anything at that uh, point, or just she seemed she nervous? She seemed nervous. Okay. She didn't seem, like, high or anything. She just seemed out of it. Okay. I would put it up, I would chalk it up to be more, like, tired and paranoid, or uh, okay. nervous, stuff like that. Okay. Um... And any other interactions with her? Uh, no. Honestly, uh, from the few times I had spoken to her, like, I just... Anytime I saw her, I kind of just tried to go straight into my apartment. Right. There's a few times where I would walk past and she'd say hi or something, and I was just kind of lie and be like, oh, I'm only going to be here for, like, ten minutes. I just got to change and head back to class or something. Like, I tried to avoid... Avoid. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, did you ever witness either of them on their back porch? Uh, no, I don't walk that direction. Okay. Right. I don't have any reason to go like that. Like, right. I, you guys don't have any, like, dogs or anything no, that you have I to walk? I don't have any pets. There you go. Um, okay. Uh, any interactions with the Hispanic male? Uh, no, not that I can recall. No? Okay. Um, okay, is there anything else that you think is important for me to know, um, about um, them and anything you've heard or witnessed between the two of them? It seems like a, an abusive relationship, abusive. just from every, every, every time I heard them, every time, like, I saw the two of them, it just, it, it seemed rough. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's one of those things where, like, he was, he was a bad, he was a bad guy. He was a bad guy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, all right, is there anything else that you think is important for me to know? Uh, nothing I can think of, no. Okay. Um, do you mind raising your right hand for me? Do you promise and swear everything we've talked about has been true and accurate, to the best of your knowledge? Every, everything I've said is true as far as I can work on. Yep, perfect. All right, this ends the recording at 17.57 hours.